Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll tell you how to fix this number is registered to your Apple ID but is not associated with this iPhone error. This error message may appear as a pop-up after successfully transferring your number to a new provider unless you fix this. Your number for iMessage and FaceTime will expire. You will keep getting notifications that your iMessage and FaceTime number will expire unless you fix this. So in this video, I'll tell you how can you fix this problem. So the first step is check your settings. On your iPhone, ensure that this number mirrors your iMessage and FaceTime number. If it does not, contact your new carrier. And the next step is turn off iMessage and FaceTime. Restart and then turn them on again. For this, go to settings, tap on it. And then scroll down and go to messages, tap on it. Here you will see the option of iMessages turn on. Tap on its toggle button to turn it off. And then go back to your settings then tap on facetime and then tap on its toggle button to turn it off now you have to restart your iphone to restart your iphone you have to tap and quickly release the volume up button and then the down button and then the power button and then slide to power off and after some time press the power button until you see the apple logo on your home screen and then release the power button and you are done and after restarting your iphone again go to settings Tap on it, scroll down and go to messages. Now turn on iMessage again. Go back to your settings and now tap on FaceTime. Now tap on its toggle button to turn it on again and you are done. And the next step is sign out and sign in again. For this go to settings, tap on it, scroll down and then go to messages, tap on it. And here you can see the option of send and receive, tap on it. Now tap on your Apple ID, in the pop-up box tap on sign out, you have to do the same with the FaceTime and then again sign in to your message and FaceTime and you are done. And the next step is reset network settings. Resetting network settings on an iPhone essentially erase all the custom settings related to your network connections and restores them to the factory defaults. This includes Wi-Fi passwords, VPN configuration, cellular settings and Bluetooth connections. For this, go to settings, scroll down and then tap on general, scroll down to the bottom and then tap on transfer or reset iPhone and then tap on reset. In the pop-up box, you will see the option of reset network settings, tap on it. It might ask you to enter your passcode. So enter your passcode and follow the on-screen instructions to reset network settings and you are done. I hope this solution will fix your issue. This number is registered to your Apple ID but is not associated with this iPhone error. And also tell us in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.